Good day and welcome to the dining room table. New York City Mayor Eric Adams is testifying on the migrant prepaid cards. Subscribe, like, and share. Mayor Adams is in Albany and he is going to testify in front of assembly members and senators. And one of the questions he's being asked by Senator Prasad from uh, Brooklyn is regarding the migrant prepaid cards. First, she's going to ask him about the budget that it costs New York City to house the migrants, billions of dollars. Let's listen. I just have a few questions um, pertaining to social services and the amount of funding that is being used to provide fund, um, resources to the immigrant population that we're experiencing now. Could you tell us that cost? The, the cost of those services? Yes. Chuck, will you give some numbers for us? So about $4.2 billion this year, and then about $4.9 billion next year. And it covers everything, ranging from housing. It, 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 yeah. Yeah. It, it covers everything, ranging from housing uh, to security and you know, food and everything. So I don't know if that's what you're referring to, the yeah. overall costs. All costs. Yes. Um, so we know that um, food, the issue of food in the migrant community, is, it's become, become an issue. And last week you announced um, the shift that you are going to, that your administration is going to, um, instead of giving the food, you're going to be giving prepaid cards. Um, and so people are asking us, as a social services committee, why is that? And I think we also had um, people who were not aware that everyone in housing, in temporary housing, gets certain um, accommodations. And the, the conversations that you're only giving this accommodation to this population, could you address that? Uh, there's one thing I learned in New York. New, York's, uh, New Yorkers are very opinionated and they share their thoughts. And so first we want to dismiss the mis, uh, misinformation. Uh, we're not giving people American Express cards. We found that the food delivery service that we set up during the emergency, we could find a better way to do it in our belief that we want to cut 20% of the migrant costs. So we have a pilot project with 500 people that we are giving them a food card. So instead of a debit card, instead of having to deliver food and have people eat food that we were seeing waste in food, they're now able to get their own food that is going to be spent $12 a day. So we're gonna save money on delivery. We're going to save money on people wasting food. And this is a pilot project we're going to use that is gonna save us $6.7 million a year and is, if the pilot turns out to be successful, then we're going to expand it, not only with the migrants and asylum seekers, we would look to do that expansion uh, throughout the entire system. We're trying to find smarter, more cost-effective ways to deal with this crisis that was dropped in our lap. Okay, thank you.